Hey everybody, Eddie G here and welcome to Quick Shot, brought to you by NASCA Network Sports. Today we have a very special guest, race car driver and 2014 Indianapolis 500 winner, Ryan hunter Ray. How you doing, Ryan? Doing excellent. Thank you for having me on. Great to have you on the show. The 2016 Indianapolis 500 is coming up, and I know you'd like to bring that trophy home again. What's it going to take to get that done? Well, it's going to take a lot of hard work, and uh, everything really has to go perfect in the Indy 500 to win it. I mean, uh, I, I learned that in 2014. It just, everything has to go to plan. Every pit stop, every second, uh, you need to be maximizing your full potential in the race car. So that's what it's going to take. I think it's going to be, um, you know, this, this and every year are difficult, but um, it's, it's always, everything has to line up. Everything has to line up absolutely perfect. I agree. It's a difficult race to win. Now, how are you feeling about the progress of your racing team, Andretti Autosport, and the level of car development this year? Well, we've had some really, you know, some really strong races. Finished or started the season out with a with a third place finish. Ran very strong at uh, at Phoenix. Uh, should have had a second place there, other than we we had some unlucky yellows, and we've had some down races where we just couldn't find pace. Finished up uh, at the Indy Grand Prix and in the top ten. So. We're heading into Indy with, with some good momentum. Um, you know, first day of practice, the Andretti team opened up uh, fastest, but we'll see where it goes. You know, that's, that's part of uh, the ebb and flow of the month of May. Okay, now Hot Wheels has unveiled its custom Indy 500 championship trophy, honoring the 99 legendary cars that have captured the checkered flag at Indianapolis 500. Hopefully your car will be number 100. That's what we're hoping for. Tell us about your relationship with Hot Wheels. Yeah, how cool is this? I mean, it's been a, it's a, such a pleasure working with Hot Wheels, um, but it's one that I really wanted to do. This is something that uh, I kind of got my racing career started. I, I guess you can say racing career, but my love for auto racing started with Hot Wheels. It really did. And it's the same for my son now, so it's so cool to see that come full circle. I started playing with Hot Wheels, messing around with the tracks, and that's what really got me thinking about auto racing. And, and anything with four wheels, two wheels, anything that went fast and and these are the fastest toys in the world um, and the collections that you can come up with and the stories behind each one and every one of them is so unique same things going with my kids now so it's great to bring the Hot Wheels to the track the kids watch the, you know me on track and um, tie it all together uh, but this trophy behind me is is just uh, fantastic you can see all the different cars on the trophy each one of those is a, is a unique story to each different winner and now we're going into the 100th running of the Indy 500, uh, a, a race with so much history, so much tradition, and um, I, I just think this is one of the the the, the most special uh, parts about it that that I've ever seen, where you can you can put that history into one one space and know that each one of those winners has a unique path and a unique story behind it. So. It's pretty cool. Go, go, to, go to Facebook uh, and, and check out Hot Wheels for more information on that. Well, I'll tell you, Ryan, I grew up with Hot Wheels, and they've been around forever, it seems. I'm glad to see that they're back in the mainstream, and I think it's a great marriage to bring more young fans to the sport of racing. Oh, absolutely. That is, for me, that was the link as well. You know, I, to, to, to bridge that gap into racing and, and to really get into motorsports, you know, I started, my fascination started with Hot Wheels, like I said. Uh, you know, right now we're here at the uh, Indianapolis Children's Museum, and and it's a it's a whole racing exhibit with different tracks, Hot Wheels tracks. I mean, this is this is my dreamland right here as a kid. So um, I can't wait to share it with my my children. Um, I know you know my kid's going to come here and and have he's going to be in here for three hours, four hours, and he'll be talking about it for weeks. Um, at, you know, this is the most unique toy experience you can have. Um, because it really engages, engages the younger kids in, into um, what these Hot Wheels can do. How far can I jump it? You know, how, how can I bridge that gap? Um, you know, how fast does the car need to go to make the loop around? So I can go on about it because I love it. So does the Hot Wheels Race to Win exhibit really get into the science of racing? Oh, yeah, it totally gets into the science of racing. I mean, I work with my, my son at home on, on how big we need to make the ramp to, to, you know, make the loop so the car doesn't fall down. And, how, how fast do we have to get it to jump this? And you can, you know, we, we made a ramp one time off d down a full flight of stairs and, you know, different cars go faster, different weights. You know, I talked to him about the weight of the car and where, where the weight distribution is even on the car. He's three and a half years old. I'm sure he gets weight distribution by now, but that, that's just, that's how my <laughs> mind works. On another note, Ryan, 
We spoke with Super Bowl champion Phil Simms about melanoma and skin cancer awareness. We know you're an ambassador in the fight against cancer. Talk to our viewers about that a little bit. Yeah, you know, we're just doing whatever we can to, uh, to use motorsports as an efficient platform to raise funds and awareness in the fight against cancer. Uh, lost my mother to cancer. Uh, the 28 on, on my race car on the DHL Honda uh, represents the 28 million people worldwide fighting cancer. It's, uh, it, it's, it's a terrible disease, one that needs, um, you know, a lot of attention, a lot of research. And the, and the people that are fighting the disease need, need help. And uh, that's what we're doing on all fronts. So we're doing as much as we, as we can, when we can, and um, we're, we're, we're making an impact wherever it may be. I lost my mom to cancer as well. So I know how you feel, and it's really appreciated what you're doing. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us here on Quick Shot. We wish you success in the Indy 500 and throughout your racing career. We're big fans, and we're going to keep following you. Excellent. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Okay, that's it for this episode of Quick Shot, brought to you by NASCAR Network Sports. See you next time. Eddie G, out.